everyone, welcome to my first tutorial. About streaming, most of the time, computer programming makes the community to human. Computers only understand binary numbers. People remember words. And text more than numbers. Numbers are sometimes hard to remember in fact, so binary numbers are harder as they consist only of zeros and ones. Um, so, we use strings in programs for humaning. It's uh, very easy to use a string, you've already used it if you watched some of my previous tutorials. Strings get more interesting when you combine them, analyze, etc. And I will be teaching you how to do basic operations with strings in this tutorial. So, string is basically an array of characters that is declared like this. As you can see, we declared the pointer, and when we try to display the string, we see the text that we. Also, we can declare a limited an array string two about. Uh, so you can have something in it. And when we try to display it, we would get something like this. So as you can see, now uh, there are two types of for declaring uh, array of characters or uh, C style strings. Uh, but in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to declare C++ strings or class based strings, class and object based strings. So, a little bit more about these strings, so you can see that um, um, C++ automatically reserves 7 bytes for this, each byte for one character, and one byte for the um, last character in string, that's no character, the terminator character for the string. So in memory, the first uh, uh, string would uh, look like this. Sorry for this. And the numbers in the first the row represent the ASCII values for every character and this is the last null uh, or terminator uh, byte that uh, declares the end of the string of the C style string. So that's about declaring um, uh, about declaring C style strings. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use a library that's called string in C11. So we're going to include it. String library, and we can delete this. So let's start with the basic example. First, we need to declare a string. We're going to call it S. So we declare the string S. And when we try to print the contents of the object, you can see a blank string. Uh, this is a class, but uh, I'm going to um, cover classes a little bit later in the tutorials, so you can learn this. Uh, that's a, also, you're going to learn something about objects and manipulating with objects when I declare this is a string class, and when I type it like this, it's like a data type, um, you get uh, an object called S, that is type of string. That's for cl clarification if someone doesn't understand. So let's try to set some text, um, some text in this string. And we're going to print it, and we are going to see that we we will successfully set some text to the string s. Also, there's another cool feature function that you can call because these are um, objects. They have uh, also functions that you can call in them. So we can display the first character of the string with this at, and we add zero. As you can see, this will di display the first character of our new string that contains some text. If you want to display the second one, you type 1. 
they start from uh, 0 to n minus 1. So this is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And when we type 9, it will be. The explanation mark. So that's a basic function for showing uh, one character at current at some position in the string. Also, um, you can append uh, append strings or concatenate them uh, with uh, this. Let's declare another string uh, called word, and uh, we are going to do. Uh, And we are going to so we are going to enter the program will prompt us for entering uh, some word and we are going to append it simply by doing this s is equal s plus word and then try to print the s string. variable. So let's add uh, abc123. We see that our string is now some text abc123. Also you can do this shorter like this and eliminate the need for typing again the s variable. That's the same as the previous example. ABC one two three so tell us the same and that's something about concatenating strings. Um, also, you can uh, see the length of length of, of the string. Uh, so by doing by calling the length function of the S object. So we are going to do like this length. And then line, and when we run the program, and we are going to type uh, A, B, C, it will be 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. As you can see, it shows us the right line of, this, of our new string. Also, uh, we can um, set the string, uh, we can append something to the end of the string but for clarity let's set now the string to be uh, to be something else like abc for example and we are going to append it with uh, by calling the append function of the object and adding uh, one two three one three two okay the same and we are going to print the string s again so you can see the result of this append function. How can I say it just appends the 132 to the current string? It's uh, the same as doing um, it's the same as doing um, s is equal s plus uh, 132. You can do that, and you will get you will get the same result. Uh, as you can see. Also, one interesting um, one interesting function that string objects contain is the insert insert uh, function that inserts uh, some string or one character after the after uh, three characters or two characters or after one character in our example we are going to insert the string uh, one two three after the first character so when we run this you're going to see that after first character a it inserted one two three and the string continues that's an interesting function also uh, also, one other interesting function is replace that uh, replaces um, sorry 
place that replaces um, uh, some sequence of characters. For example, we are going to replace from the zero from for the first character to the uh, next three characters um, with uh, for example x one two one two. And when you do this you can see that uh, it replaced the whole string. If I said from the uh, from the second character replace the three characters, sorry, you're gonna see that it just replaces the character from the first character to three characters next. That x one two. Also, there's an interesting function called uh, find. It finds uh, uh, finds some sequence of characters or some string within our string. Uh, but first, let's set this string to be hello world and one two three exclamation mark and we are going to we are going to search for for example world and this will return the the number or the position of the character in the string if it finds it so as you can see it's uh, after the sixth character one two three four five six and here's world when if i find only for example l it will find the first occurrence of l so it will be the second one two and here's the l also there's a a uh, function called uh, sub uh, substring uh, that will give us, for example, we're going to see uh, uh, from the third character to the end of the string, it will create another string. So as you can see, one, two, from the third character till the end it shows our string. Also you can limit uh, the substring for example um, from the third character we get the next two characters and this will return us a string hello that's two characters. If we increase this to five you can see the example it would be so that's some basic functions and if you have any questions please post in the comments I will be glad to help you thanks for watching and please subscribe see ya